Depression can feel like a never-ending darkness, but there is hope. Today, we'll explore how faith and scripture can help us navigate these challenging times. Depression is more than just feeling sad. It's a heavy burden that affects millions. Psalm 38 verse 4 says, My guilt has overwhelmed me like a burden too heavy to bear. We're not alone in the struggle, even though oftentimes it does feel like that. God's word offers comfort and hope. In Psalm 34, verses 17 to 18, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirits. He understands our pain and sorrow. And even for me, this test, text goes a long way. Because during those periods of loneliness, sadness, and depression, all you want to do is give up. But this text reminds us that God cares for the broken heart. It's hard to hold on to faith when darkness surrounds us. But Romans 5 verse 3 and 4 reminds us we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character hope. Our struggles can refine us. When I hear this text, I think to myself, but why me? Why should I constantly struggle over and over and over? When am I going to actually get to enjoy life? When am I going to get to live? I don't understand. But here in this scripture, it tells us that the struggles refine us. Depression can feel isolating, but we don't have to face it alone. Proverbs 17 verse 7 says, A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. This is telling us to seek support from loved ones, professionals, and community. Many times when we are depressed, the first thing we want to do is self-isolate. Well, at least for me, that's what I do. I self-isolate. I don't want to be around anyone that's happy. I don't want to be around anyone that's going to tell me that it's okay. Because in these moments, it is not okay. I don't feel okay. Things are not okay. My world is falling apart. But it's always good to find support. Healing is possible. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 3 to 4 says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort. God is our ultimate source of comfort and healing. This says God is our ultimate source of comfort and healing. It's hard to think that and believe that, especially when you're a Christian and you're going through things that make it hard for you to even think that God cares for you, especially when you keep going through down times over and over and over again. It's like, where is the break breakthrough? Where is God? If I believe in God, how come he's not showing up in my life? But God will show up to give us the peace that we need to endure the struggles. Depression may darken our world, but God's light shines brighter. Hold on to hope. You are not alone and there is healing ahead. It may not be no, and I don't know 
when it will be resolved. I am here now and the feeling of loneliness grows every day. I am doing this to encourage someone who may feel alone because in a world where there are over 7 billion people, we don't know the struggles of all of them. We may see their outward appearances and think that they're happy, that they're doing well in life. But if sometimes you're supposed to sit and talk to one of those individuals, they don't have it together. They're not happy. And then you look inside yourself and then you say, I am not alone. And the feeling of not being, al being alone can sometimes strengthen you. So it's good to reach out and to rely on Jesus in those moments. Remember Psalm 23 verse 4 says, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. So today, let us think about God in all that we go through, all that we endure. God sees us, God does not forget us. And even in those isolating moments, let us even try to remember that God is there with us. It is Him who keeps waking us up to see a new day. Things could have been different, but today we're alive and we're well. So that is something. So if you're struggling deeply with depression, ask for help. Talk to someone who genuinely cares. I know that it may seem like, no, I can't trust anyone. They may use it against me. Or in today's world, where you give the person is expecting to get back. Or the person helps, they're expecting something in return. And sometimes when you have nothing to give in return, the relationship sometimes doesn't last but there are professionals out here who are willing to help you who are willing to support take care of yourself and remember there's just one you